Hello, uh, good evening if, if you're in the UK. So I've, I've just got to check whether I'm okay. I'll set my camera all wrong. Hang on, I'm going to faff for a minute. Because <laughs> I, it all, I'm not going to say it again. It's like becoming a cliche when I start this show. It always, uh, something inevitably always happens and I have to run around like an idiot. Uh, all right, that'll do, won't it? There you go. All right, how are you? How are you? It's, um, and what it is, is because I usually come in here with loads of time to spare. And because no kids at school, etc., I sort of drop the kids. <laughs> I can't even just run, set everything up, and kind of. Get, but it's we're we're good. And uh, hey, kid, how you doing? Hey, Ian, lovely to see you. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, this confused me because you you're saying, kid, that um, uh, you did fragment, and I was thinking that's no, a different one, isn't it? But yeah, this is this one. But anyway, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner. This is fragment uh, from uh, the other brothers. And I'm going to, uh, Nicholas Lawrence, but Maxwell uh, Malbarek. I don't know if that's the, pronounce, uh, the pronunciation. It just says it on the trailer. It didn't, I didn't know who exactly came up with it on, by watching the download. Um, but there you go. It's an abstract effect. Uh, effect. So before we go on, can you like, can you please subscribe? Can you check out cardmagiccourse.com? We've got a live session tonight uh, on self-workers tonight, which I'm rubbish at. So it's, it's really good. Everybody's bringing a self-work or some people and we're going to get into that. Uh, so... I'm going to crack on, ask any questions. Glad you've caught a, a live one, Ian. Any questions about this or any other questions at the end? I know some people say these live ones are a bit rambly, and they are, and that's fine. That's kind of the point of them. So ask me anything you want about magic, about how things are going at the moment. I hope everybody's okay. Obviously, things are still really weird. Uh, some people I know are getting locked down again or moving towards that, and I feel for you this may happen here. We, we just don't know. So... Um, but we are, you know, magic for me, as I keep saying, has really, really has, has been a game changer. Um, it always has been, but in the last few months, it's just, it just, it, I disappear into it and it just keeps me uh, mentally healthy, relatively. Uh, so, um, Fragment. Okay. I've purposefully tried not to watch any uh, reviews of this, but I did see a few uh, comments on Facebook when when things thank you rambly's good good uh, when things came out and i was excited to get it because it's an intro i always like talking about uh, abstract effect stuff i think it's this stuff and this is no exception is full of contradictions for me the other brothers i like very much i think they're good to watch i think they've got lovely charisma i think they're really passionate about what they do they're very excited and they always start every single download i don't know if there's one where they go we're really excited to share this <laughs> you start up there. it's kind of like it's kind of like me when i always say and we'll talk about that later it just becomes a thing but they're good to watch um i saw this trailer i've got i think i've got some clips lined up to show you this was the whole problem beforehand i really haven't got time to do that properly but we'll see if they work but a couple of clips from the trailer which i think is worth talking about i think people have had comments about how doable this is which i have played with it i spent a long time last night playing with it different angles i was going to try and film me doing it but i just ran out of time um but it's the doability is it doable it looks great and are we going to be able to do it? And, and you look, and it is the kind of thing you can just show someone, right? You can just show someone um, and you don't have to do a trick with it, really. The trick is within it. And with social distancing, we can actually, you know, you're standing there and you see it, it could look pretty amazing. So I'm going to show you the, the trailer. Uh, for those of you who don't know what this is, and it's not the other fragment, which is, uh, I think, was it a, was it a, did you say it was a Michael? I'm not going to, actually, I'm not sure what it is, but there's another fragment that this isn't it. So let me just... Um, See, this is the Justin Flom clip, I think. And I should be able to talk over it. Okay, you're not going to be able to hear what he says, but he just says, think of any carb. And this is the effect. Okay, so that's the... the just watch that again. So, and, and how doable is this? Okay, it's pretty spectacular, that, isn't it? I mean, it looks... It looks great. Uh, Michael Murray is getting it, yeah. Um, does it look like that when you do it? Yes, kind of. That is made for social media. And the, the thing with this effect, and that is the main effect. The main effect is you show one card and you, you put it on the table and it becomes more than one. You can also spread it on the table, which is kind of the main one, really. I didn't have time to put this. So it's pretty much the same, but instead of throwing it on the table, you spread it on the table. That's a little bit more surefire. There's one called a hover um, appearance, I think it's called, where you kind of just hover the card above the table and the cards drop from underneath. That looks wonderful. There's a kind of fan appearance where you have one card and you hold it up and you fan the cards from out of it. But the, the main effect is the cards appear. 
uh, and there is a bit, and if you think of level one, and I, I'm going to talk about level one, I'm not saying anybody's copied anything, I'm not getting into that, but I'm just saying there's a bit where you kind of show one card and you shake it, and all the cards appear from under it. It's almost like you've got level one and you've pressed sort of the backward button in your editing software and it's kind of got that, it looks exactly the same, but backwards. Not a bad thing, um, but there, there's definitely a kind of similarity there with, with, with method. Kind of. And when I got this, I... I was really intrigued. I opened it and thought, what is this? Is it going to be like level one? I was kind of expecting, and I saw it and I went, and I think a lot of people did this probably and went, oh, really? And with level one, I got that out and I went, I sort of had the same thing. I went, is that it? And then when I did it, I went, no, that's really elegant and really cool. With this one, I kind of went, is that it? And then when I did it, I kind of went, yeah, that is really cool. But then there are, are for me, a few more issues. So I'm going to show you the, the, this other thing that you get on the download. Um, this is, I think... Yeah, so this is a two-card trans transposition. Now, this is important that you know this. This is not using the gimmick. Okay? This is using a normal deck of cards. And it's a, I think this is probably one of my favourite things. It's, it's hard. It's really knacky, this. But this is a, it gives you the same kind of effect without the gimmick. And Nicholas Lawrence has put this in there. And he says he performs this. And I actually believe him. It does look really good. And there's been some thought on there. And there's been some practice. You can tell it's not something he's just banged together for this download. It, it's a really cool thing. And that's probably one of my favourite things and that I, that I might even work on. Um, on the... On there. Uh, perfect Zoom trick. Maybe. Let, let's talk about it. So the first thing to say is it looks great. And when you do it, it looks great. It is what you get. They haven't kind of conned you in, 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 in any way at all. The problem is, for me, is that that stuff, especially that throw vanish that Justin Flom does, I would be very wary about doing that live. I think there's a, the method here is kind of... I'm not saying you can't do it. But you've got to be spot on with those cards. You've got to throw them down, excuse me, and they've got to do that. If they go, one of the cards goes slightly too far or goes not far enough, it's going to completely blow the whole thing, maybe. Uh, so I would be, that's for me, and they even mention this in the download. They do mention for social media quite a lot. And you do kind of think, well, a lot of these ways of doing it are for social media. Not a bad thing, and I don't think it's a bad thing. I think that social media is a very valid platform at the moment. Uh, I do think if you're going to do stuff on social media, you do have to kind of be able to back it up live if you're then going to go out live. But it's a different thing. But it looks cool, looks great, all that. The spread vanish is slightly more surefire, but it's a bit angly. And it's, it, is, it is quite angly. It's so angly, in fact, that in the demo, I did see a couple of flashes. And now that's fine, they're demo in it, and they're not really trying hard because they've already told you how it's done. But I would, again, be, I'm, I'd be really interested to see how usable it is. I think you can do it. I've got no, problem, no, no issue that you can do it, but you're just going to have to think about it, and it definitely isn't a surrounded kind of thing. Maybe if you're looking right down on the table, um, it'll be good. But it's the, the, the issue I have with it, and it may be because at the moment I'm feeling quite risk averse. I haven't performed in a while and I'm noticing that I'm getting a bit more nervous about messing things up. Now, I know like I performed wiki test the other day on Zoom and I was really nervous about it. I kind of that's the, I've been practicing my chops, but I haven't been practicing that. And it's and so it might be that. But I would be nervous doing this if I was to take this out in front of a load of people. I'd be I, can't, I, I might not even do it at the moment because it's just. It's not, for me, it's not surefire with, and I've put an hour into this, I've played with it, I showed my son, he said it looked great, all that kind of stuff, so, so that, it's, it's not easy, it's knacky, and it's, there's not a lot of room for, there's not a lot of forgiveness in this trick, if you get it wrong, it's going to blow the whole thing, saying that, they ha there is quite a nice thing about the gimmick that you won't see straight away, when you first look at it, it will go, is that it, is it just does that, and then, you realise that they put this one little detail that actually makes a huge difference. I think it's very, very clever. And when they talk about that, you look at it and go, oh, yeah, that is pretty cool, actually. So listen, I like the effect. I think it's, it, it looks great. It has its challenges. For me, it's more of a social media. I need to be able to control that situation. I definitely want to control the surface. You're talking about a spread here, and that spread has to be spot on. So in, in one way... In, I don't want to give too much away. Uh, the challenges are for me angles. Um, obviously, you've got to know, you've got to choose where you do it. There was one more thing I wanted to say about it, and it's going to wind me up that I'm not going to remember. Uh, did I put it up there? Looks amazing. 
No, it's going to worry me. I hope it comes back to me. But but they, there you go. It's I think your disappointment with this that people that I saw a couple of comments on Facebook are a little bit. I think it's good. I think it's maybe a little bit overpriced. It is I think at the moment thirty dollars. Um, oh, that's what I wanted to say. That's what I wanted to say. Um, and it's my little pet peeve with abstract effects and people. And it's a it's a personal thing. It doesn't really matter that much. But put a mic on. You know, <laughs> put a, when you're teaching us a trick and we've bought the trick. Stick a mic on, make it look or sound a little bit nicer. It just, for me, I think it's because I've, I've put so much effort into making this, you know, and if you're selling a trick, I just think, you know, and you might be a mic on it, or if it is, it's not a very good one. If you're going to use your phone, fine, light it, put a mic on, it, that, you can get one for $30, and it just, I just, it, for me, it's a bit like, come on, guys, it, it just looks like it's been thrown together. It's nothing to do with the trick. It's a pet peeve thing for me. But when I see a download of a trick and I put it on, I just feel nicer if it just looks like there's a little bit uh, more effort there. But, you know, it's full of contradictions for me. It's, it's like that midnight breakfast trick. It's a great trick. You get it and you go, is that it? But then you go, it works. It's great. And, the, and Nicholas Lawrence, even though I think the midnight breakfast with the other brothers, Nicholas Lawrence is very good at taking very kind of simple ideas and making something look amazing. But with that, it's going to, for some people, we could have a little bit of disappointment. I wouldn't let it bother you. Um, but just know it's going to have its challenges. It's going to be a fun thing to play with, but whether I perform it or not is, is to be seen. Uh, so thank you very much. Uh, how robust is the gimmick? Uh, from Martin's Circus Skills Workshop. Uh, the, 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 the gimmick's going to last for ages. You know, it's, it's, it is that robust. It is fiddly with level one, and I am going to compare it because there's similarities with, with the way the effect works. With level one, there's just an elegance to it. You just, you can handle the thing and you don't have to worry about. With this, there's a kind of, you've got there's a lot to control i think and i found it really like you know you, you know those things you get when you're um when you go to sort of those gimmicky shops those sort of novelty shops now the 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 the, the water things that are like uh, they're like full of water and they're like a balloon and they go through your hands like that and maybe it's from my age and you've got to kind of it <laughs> felt a bit like that every time i did it, it kind of everything slipped out of my hand but uh, that's lack of practice that is not a consideration but but it is it's robust but it's going to take some some work uh, hi michael how you doing steve there's no doubt you certainly put a lot more effort into the review than they put into the tutorial yeah well I, you know i think most people aren't going to bother about it and it doesn't bother me that much but i just it's a niggle you know uh, what have I missed? Can you start from the beginning, please, Steve? No, you missed me babbling on. Uh, Magic Jake, uh, how you doing? Magic Jake, uh, see if there's any um, other questions. Questions are coming up. Hi, Tom, how you doing? Uh, so if there's any more questions, I know this was six o'clock tonight. It's just all a bit fluid at the moment. It's just the way it is. Um, I'll just babble on for a bit. If you have got any more questions about either this or the magic or the course or the reviews or anything like that, I've got another couple of reviews uh, to put up soon. I did an interview with uh, John Archer yesterday, which was lovely, which was an hour and a half interview. Again, I think the longer interviews are great. I think that's where we get to the gold. So I'm not going to shorten them, but do, do stick and what, stick with them. There's some really good stuff in there. And I know online there's so much stuff at the moment. There's so many interviews, there's so many uh, workshops and they're all great, but there's some really solid stuff in here. I think that you only get from sitting with someone for an hour and a half and, um, and talking to them. So thank you very much. Check out cardmagiccourse.com. Um, uh, we are six need link. We are six need link. Uh, yes. Oh, oh, the link to the yeah. I'll um, I'll put the link. The, the link is below. I think for for the for the trick. Um, but yeah. Uh, so um, yeah. Card Magic Course. Like, subscribe, tell people about it, mention it on the cafe, all that sort of stuff. That'd be great. Thank you very much, everybody. I'm going to find the end thing because it's gone now. Oh, there it is. Uh, have a great one. Take care. See you later. Bye.